Good morning, everyone. My name is Ponadi. I am a retired PWD engineer. I have retired as a Deputy Chief Engineer Plan Formulation on 39, 2022, just one year back. I am very much interested in teaching. Also, I am having a very good teaching experience. I like this subject, Civil Engineering Structural Analysis, very much. I take this structural analysis part for TNPSC. Um, um, combined engineering group uh, examination. Especially I want to take uh, only the structural analysis portion for the first time. For example, unit 3, engineering mechanics and strength of materials. The topics are forces, type of forces, center of gravity, moment of inertia, friction, stresses and strains, thermal stresses, elastic constants, beams, Bending moment and shear forces in beams, theory of simple bending, deflection of beams, torsion, combined stresses, stresses on inclined planes, principal stresses and principal planes, theory of failure, analysis of plane trusses. Then next topic, unit 4, structural analysis, indeterminate beams, stiffness and flexibility method of structural analysis, slope deflection. That is slope deflection method, moment distribution method, arches and suspension cables, theory of columns, moving loads and influence lines, matrix method, stability of retaining walls, plastic theory, seismic analysis of high rise building. This is a unit number 4. So unit 3, unit 4 and unit 7. Design of concrete structures, pre-stressed concrete and steel structures. Then topic under this uh, unit. So totally I want to take the three uh, structural analysis portion for the TNPSC combined uh, engineering exams. Uh, as a first class, uh, today I want to take uh, the first unit, uh, engineering mechanics and strength of materials. In that uh, first one is forces, types of law, center of gravity, then moment, in a moment of inertia so like that. But uh, first I want to take uh, beams, shear uh, force and bending moment because uh, the first portion so forces and last will be almost like theory and it will be somewhat uh, boring. So first I will take only beams for the first class. Then from next class onwards I will cover all the topics in the syllabus uh, given by the TNPSC. So today we will take, uh, first I will take uh, one beam. And then uh, beam, in, in beam section they are giving beams, bending moment and shear forces in beam. So I will take a simply supported beam first. I will explain everything. Now, one more practical class. One more thing. One more practical class. We will learn. And the theory. How to study? That we will know. That is why one beam already. You all B will study. One beam will study students. So now we will go to basic. I will explain. But one simply supported beam. How to study reaction? How to study? How to study shear force calculate? How to study bending moment? This is why we will study. You will pass the exam. Well done. Well done. Just अपने theory आ सोला मैं निकलने beam पाथ होने ये अपनी shear force bending पर diagram पोड़ ला और सोड़ तो वाले यार ना मैंने ना तो सोली तारा उनके लिए so निकल आधे पाथ ही निकले उनके लिए board तो मतलब questions आते one way one one word answer questions निकल select पर तो वो easy आ रखो so वो simply supported beam लाये ये अपनी निकल analysis पन रहो how we will calculate the reaction support reaction then shear force bending moment and how to draw the shear force diagram bending moment diagram Already I have seen so one uh, TNPSC question paper. I have taken some questions from the topics also. The, in this topic related are the questions I have taken. And if other than that, more knowledge got to be given. I in the class I have to go on there. So first, in this, I have a beam lab, simply supported beam, cantilever beam. And the beam related all the topics. What are the types of beams? What are the forces acting? What are the reactions? Then what is counterflexion? And the types of beam, I will cover this in the first day on YouTube. Okay, thank you. First topic, beams. Beams, bending, bending moment and shear forces in beams. First is beams. Beams, what are the types of beams? Beams, what are the types of beams? Beams, what are the types of beams? First, what is a beam? I tell you. A beam is a horizontal structural member carrying vertical loads. So, beam is a horizontal structural member. It's a horizontal it's a 
beam is a horizontal structural member carrying vertical loads this is vertical loads this definition for beam is beam is a horizontal structural member carrying vertical loads sometimes the beam may be slightly inclined to the horizontal then such beams are called inclined beams adha pathi nam kavala padam vena then when a beam is subjected to vertical loads shear force and bending moments are developed at each and every cross section of the beam now our topic now we are going to see beams shear force and bending moment so i will concentrate on this when the beam is subjected to vertical load each and every cross section of the beam will be subjected to shear force and bending moment that is shear force and bending moment will be developed on each and every cross section now uh, this is the base now loads what are all the loads there are two types of load one is axial load another one is transverse load that is vertical load if the load acts along the axis of the beam this is axial load நம்ம பீம்ல நிறைய ஆக்சியல் லோட் பத்தி படிக்க போறது கிடையாது ஒன் டைப் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி बिकॉज क्वेश्चन கேக்குறோம் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் தி டைப் ஆஃப் லோட் வில் ஆக்ட் ஆன் எம் பீம் ஒன் இஸ் ஆக்சியல் லோட் தி ஆக்சிஸ் வழியா அந்த ஆக்சிஸ்க்கு பேரலல் ஆக்ட் பண்ண தட் இஸ் ஆக்சியல் லோட் அதர் ஒன் இஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்வர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் வெர்டிகல் லோட் வாட் இஸ் வெர்டிகல் தட் இஸ் தி லைன் பெர்பெண்டிகுலர் டு தி ஆக்சிஸ் வெர்டிகல் லோட் மீன்ஸ் தி லோட் ஆக்ட்ஸ் பெர்பெண்டிகுலர் டு தட் லாஜிடிட்டல் ஆக்சிஸ் இஸ் नोन एज வெர்டிகல் லோட் சே திஸ் இஸ் P1 P two, P three. These are the types of load. Then, other types of loads are concentrated load or point load. We know that if a load acts at the point, suppose say this is a beam. If this is a simply supported beam, then suppose a column rests on a beam or beam pole. There, as a particular column is there, it will act like. concentrated load or point load a load acting at a single point on a beam is known as a point load example column placed on a beam so a particular point la say some 20 kN acts vachitina this is a point load first point second one is uniformly distributed load a load which is uniformly spread over a beam is called a uniformly distributed load example on wall suppose we construct a wall over a beam suppose say this is a beam the beam rests on columns then if we construct a wall the when the beam mela or wall construct pannona or brick wall construct pannona இங்க ஒரு லோட் இருக்கும் இங்க ஒரு லோட் வேரி ஆகிட்டே போகும் சோ 
इंगे मैक्सिमम लोड वरो इन द रेंट इंगे रेंट ले जीरो लोड को अपनी वेरी आइट बोहो इस पर यूनिफॉर्मली वेरी लोड देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लोड्स वन इस पाइल लोड अंदर वन इस यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर लोड एंड थर्ड वन इस यूनिफॉर्मली वेरी लोड देर आर दी थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लोड्स देन टाइप्स ऑफ सपोर्ट वी हैव फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सपोर्ट वन इस सिंपली सपोर्ट अंदर वन इस रोलर सपोर्ट थर्ड वन इस हिंजल सपोर्ट फोर्थ वन इस फिक्सर सपोर्ट सो वी विल सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इस सिंपली सपोर्ट इफ बोथ एंड्स ऑफ द बीम्स आर रेस्टिंग ओवर अ कॉलम so simple id mele poi rendu pakkam or kaalathu mele or beam ottumna this is simply supported beam next one is roller support then what is thing significant the simply supported beam will resist only vertical loads but it cannot resist horizontal load or moments first if a beam if a load is acting say suppose one fixed beam something is or or Simply supported beam will get. So in the simply supported beam, la our load act for no chance. Like some five meters length there, some forty uh, kilometer load act for no. Then next part, the load reaction in the in the load when the act for no. This is to actually when the load the support for no. This is equal to the condition level for no. So this is one reaction. Ah, the end load one. Then in your reaction for no. R B. So in the the vertical load is resist pannano suppose some inclined load vandu nichinga idhula varadhu namak trusses la varum adanude component vertical component horizontal component appo horizontal load ah resist pannano then in the force ku or moment irukum so each and every point la vertical force irukum horizontal force irukum moment irukum so and the beam vandu overly ah resist pannano ipo the simply supported beam na this beam will only support vertical only resist vertical reactions That is called a simply supported beam. Simply supported beam, but the significance is it can resist only vertical force, vertical loads. Then roller support. Roller support is very similar to simply supported beam. It also will have resist only vertical load, and it will not resist horizontal load or moment. But this roller support will be used only in trusses. Truss part of the body, like the workshop level or truss. So in the very one trusses gate, if you want to roll and support, put pang. If you have to do that, roll and support. Now, suppose if you want to have a bit load, we are on particular loads, we are on. But if you want to expand, we are on. And the first time, we are on expand. We are on. If the roll and support, we are on. 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 So in the beam, the body will not collapse like that. So in the end, in the roller support, it is very similar to simply support, but this roller support will be used in trusses. So both the simply support and the roller support will resist only vertical loads and it will not resist horizontal load or moments. Next one is hinge support. The hinge support, it is a say we go. This is. is a this hinge support this type of support will resist horizontal load as well as vertical load so if we are inge vandu inda the force vandu horizontally resist pannom inge the vertical load vandha vertical reaction irukum horizontal reaction irukum so hinge support will resist both horizontal and vertical loads then moment that is third one is fixer fourth one is fixer support I have told the four types of supports. One is simply supported. Second one is roller support. Third one is hinge support, and fourth one is fixer support. The simply support and roller support will resist only vertical force. The roller support is used in trusses. Then hinge support will resist for both horizontal and vertical loads. Then fixer support will resist the three. That is vertical force. Then horizontal force. And our body of moment. So in the fixed end, we are talking about vertical reactions. There are horizontal reactions. There are moment reactions. There are. So fixed support will resist all the three vertical, horizontal, and moment reactions. These are the types of supports. One is simply support, roller support, hinge support, and fixed support.
that reaction next reaction so ipo nam beam na enna nu paathom so beam is a ensemble member adu enna load act pannum one axial load act pannum innonu vertical load act pannum so appo adu enna na support condition irukku nu paathom simply support irukku roller support irukku then hinge support irukku fixer support irukku ipo id the support la edhukku adhukku nam adha da next paakaporam what is reaction when an external load is applied on a beam it tends to deform nam or load apply pannona adu valaiyo enna na adu deform aagum during this process the beam automatically offers an internal resistance to the applied load ipo or beam la nam load kondu apply pannona adu enna pannum nam or oru pudichi thalla nam appo keela ulundroma ulla maatom first nam resist pannuvom so adhu da nammude internal resistance adhu maadhiri or beam la load act pannudhuna adu automatically internal ah the load resist pannum அதெல்லாம் தாங்க முடியாத அளவுக்கு நம்ம லோட் போட்டோம்னா அது உடஞ்சி போயிடும் சோ திஸ் இன்டர்னல் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃபர்ட் பை தி பீம் அட் தி சப்போர்ட் अगेंस्ट தி அப்ளை லோட் சோ இப்போ ஒரு பீம் இருக்குது இந்த பீம்ல வந்துட்டு நம்ம வந்து லோட் அப்ளை பண்றோம் அந்த லோட் கீழ தள்ளோம் தென் பெண்ட் ஆகும் சோ அந்த டிஃபார்மேஷன் ஆகாம இருக்கிறதுக்கு இது ஒரு இந்த பீம் ஒரு இன்டர்னல் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் கொடுக்கும் that the internal resistance offered by the beam at the support and the support la put the prepare reaction the action correct what the load is action id mela load act aagudhe adu id reaction kudukudhu ye enna reaction kudukudhu equilibrium condition la pinadi padipom the what are the type of reaction vertical reaction horizontal reaction and moment reaction suppose if a load male and p load act padudha ipo keela and the p by 2 equal distance irundha p by 2 then only the body the beam will be in equilibrium condition this is called the vertical reaction suppose any horizontal load ingana act pannona then inge and inda pakkam or horizontal load reaction varum then when a moment vandudha ipo simply support la moment irukka suppose if it is a fixed beam இங்கே ஒரு லோட் அப்ளை பண்ணோம்னா இங்கே ஒரு மொமெண்ட் வரும் இங்க இதனால வரக்கூடிய மொமெண்ட் ரெசிஸ்ட் பண்ண இங்கே இது ஒரு மொமெண்ட் ரியாக்ஷன் சோ அந்த சப்போர்ட்ல வரக்கூடியது ஒன் இஸ் வெர்டிகல் ரியாக்ஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் இங்க சிம்பிள் சப்போர்ட் போக கூடாது பிக்சல்ல தான் வரும் ஒன் இஸ் வெர்டிகல் ரியாக்ஷன் தட் இஸ் ரியாக்ஷன் பி தட் இஸ் ரியாக்ஷன் ஹரிசாண்டல் ரியாக்ஷன் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் மொமெண்ட் ரியாக்ஷன் தேர் ஆர் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரியாக்ஷன்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் வெர்டிகல் ரியாக்ஷன் horizontal reaction and moment reaction there are three types of reaction then types of beam based on support conditions now we have to types of beams based on support condition first one is cantilever beam first beam is cantilever beam can, we all know cantilever beam is one end free beam which is fixed at one end and free at the other support that is called the cantilever beam next one is second type is based on support condition simply supported beam simply supported beam means both ends are resting on masonry walls this is called simply supported beam we all know then the third one is overhanging beam if the simply supported beam can extend up beyond one support sometimes it can beyond other support also one side extend and one side overhanging rendu pakkam overhanging aagana double side overhanging so it's a overhanging beam third one then fourth one is a fixed beam a fixed beam means the two ends are rigidly fixed to the columns then next one is continuous beam a beam which is more than two supports are called it is having more than two supports here we have one two three four supports this beam is called a continuous beam this is continuous continuous beam this is fixed beam this is cantilever beam cantilever and this is simply supported and this is overhanging then last one is a fixed beam is fixed to one one end and the free end if one end is fixed the other one end is free it is called a cantilever if a cantilever is supported at the free end it is called a propped cantilever it's called propped cantilever i will prop kudutom propped cantilever these are the six types of beams in a uh, beams based on support conditions next are 
we have a question on overhanging beam already i have told you we have one question sir okay not there i will stop it yeah okay mom okay fine sorry overhanging beam is a simply supported beam in a simply supported beam if there is a, a beam projection on one side or on both sides this is one side overhang double side overhang already i have told that is proper cantilever they can deliver beam with the prob then next this are the six types of condition then static equilibrium equations and static equilibrium what is static equilibrium or and what is equilibrium conditions when the beam remains at rest under the influence of external loads and reaction suppose we take a beam a simply supported beam and if it is it is subjected to two to two loads and only uniformly distributed load say this is some 20 kN and 30 kN 2 kN per meter like that ha huh? when a beam remains at rest under the influence of external actions and reactions this is called action then this is called reaction idu nam load eduthu paathona idu rendu ku inda the load equal up the choice are where vary as it depending on the distance and intensity idu or reaction kudukku idu or reaction kudukku suppose say this is 2 meters and this is 1 meter and this is 1 meter now it is 20 kN 30 kN 20 plus 30 50 plus 2 kN so raw 2 into 2 meters get or it 1 meter and 2 kN tag padra 2 meters of 4 kN so raw say this is 4 kN 20 sorry 20 plus 30 50 50 plus 4 54 This 54 kilonewton load must be supported by this this support sir. That is called the reaction. If you take this point this A and this point B, this R A and this reaction R B. This R A plus R B must be equal to 54 kilonewton. Then only the beam will be in equilibrium condition. We know that. Or else, we cannot solve it. when the beam remains at rest under the influence of external actions and reactions then the following three equilibrium equations to be satisfied ipa namak theriyadhu or beam apdi nikidinte adu summa nikila adu vandu or conditions moon conditions are satisfy pandradhaala adu nikidhu suppose endha condition adu satisfy aagalana beam collapse aayidum what are all the three static equilibrium equations one is Sigma H is equal to zero. Number two is sigma B is equal to zero, and number three is sigma M is equal to zero. In the mood condition, no satisfy ana da. Or B mo, or structure or the equilibrium condition la ikirko. In the kind of equations ke perda equilibrium equations. So. When a beam remains at rest under the influence of external actions and reactions, then the following three equ equations are to be satisfied. Or load apply pani and the load uh, and the load naala the beam disturb ahama abhi naala it's a static condition, equilibrium condition le the kudna the mood condition is satisfied ya no? And the equation ke perda equilibrium equations. One is sigma h is equal to zero. One is sigma h is equal to zero. If for the total load, I am about to amplify the load of the So in the amplified load of the load, suppose if the load is over here, 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 the load is over here. So algebraic sum of vertical forces. If the load is over here, 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 the load is over here. கீழ இருந்து மேல அந்த ரெண்டு சப்போர்ட்டும் தாங்கி புடிக்கணும் அந்த அல்ஜெப்ரிக் சம் ஆஃப் வெர்டிகல் லோட்ஸ் மஸ்ட் பீ ஈக்குவல் டு 0 தட் இஸ் कॉल्ड சிக்மா v 0 सपोज இங்க ஏதாவது ஹர்ஸாகல் லோட் ஆக்ட் பண்ணுதுனா இங்க ஒரு குள்ள நோட் வந்துனா இந்த இங்க ஒரு ரியாக்ஷன் ஹர்ஸாகல் ரியாக்ஷன் வரணும் அது நமக்கு இப்போ இங்க நம்ம பீம்ல வராது only ட்ரஸ்ஸஸ் எல்லாம் வரும் சோ அப்ப என்ன பண்ணனும் இது இந்த பக்கம் போட்டு பிளஸ் வச்சிட்டோம்னா அந்த பக்கம் போட்டு மைனஸ்ல வரும் அல்ஜெப்ரிக் சம் மீன்ஸ் பிளஸ் மைனஸ் 
that is left la one act padudhu right direction la one act padudhu adu adoda algebraic sum zero va irundala inda b b equilibrium condition la irukum then idhula moment varum so inga inda force la or moment varum inda force la or moment varum idhala or moment varum reaction la or moment varum so algebraic sum of all the moments must be equal to zero appadi irundala idhu condition la idhu vandu equilibrium condition la irukum appadi illada pakshathila inda b vandu equilibrium condition la irukadhu so or b mo or structure o nama load panni and the load apply panna perige adu vandu equilibrium condition la irukano adu ulugama irukano stable a irukano na basic a inda moonu conditions um satisfy aaganum idhukku dhaan peru equilibrium equations one is algebraic sum of all horizontal force must be equal to zero that is h by sigma h is equal to zero then algebraic sum of all vertical forces must be equal to zero that is sigma v is equal to zero then and the force la varakudiya moment already algebraic sum one left direct direction over in one anti clockwise direction la varum rendu kooti paatha adu mottama cipher la irukano appadi irundala and the beam vandu equilibrium condition la irukum indha condition ella vachittu nama endha beam ye analyze panna mudiyum the sigma v is equal to sigma m is equal to zero angra equation la potta paranga or reaction e kandupidikka mudiyum na or beam ah ungalku work out panni kaanga then next sigma v is equal to zero angra condition potta adha reaction kandupidikka mudiyum so in the equations ki pair so avanga equilibrium equation enna nu namma question la kettaanga na there are three equilibrium equation one is sigma v is equal to 0 sigma h is equal to 0 sigma m is equal to 0 sigma v means algebraic sum of all vertical components of the forces acting on a beam must be equal to 0 sigma h na the algebraic sum of all horizontal components of the forces acting on a beam must be equal to 0 sigma m na the algebraic sum of the moments due to all the forces acting on a beam at any point is equal to Zero. The three above three equations are being used in the analysis of the structural elements such as beams, trusses, and frames, etc. So, in the moon equilibrium equation, we can report that we have. In that, we have determined structures. All of them, we have done our analysis. This is the equations are called equilibrium equation. Sigma h is equal to zero. Sigma v is equal to zero, and sigma m is equal to zero. First point. The next one is. statically determinate beams one is okay okay statically determinate beams there are two types of determinacy one is determinate beams statically determinate structure another one is statically indeterminate structures nam topic le kuduthirukanga first unit 3 la statically determinate structures tha padikrom unit 2 la tha vandu statically indeterminate structures beams pathi padikrom what do you mean by statically determinate beams or structures If a beam can be completely analyzed, analyzed using the three equilibrium equations sigma v is equal to zero, sigma h is equal to zero, and sigma m is equal to zero, then such beams are called statically determinate beams. Then statically indeterminate beams. If a beam cannot be completely analyzed using the three static equilibrium equation sigma h is equal to zero, that is sigma v is equal to zero. Sigma h is equal to zero and sigma m is equal to zero. If the moon is a chain of force, then now all the other statically determined structure, the determined. If the moon is a chain, then all the analysis can be done. Now, if sigma, then we beam can be done. Simply, if we have given that the beam can be done only sigma b is equal to zero, sigma m is equal to zero. Then we can use for what? Trust for what? Sigma h is a length of. So in the moon equation, if a chain or beam and another complete other reaction can be produced, shear force can be produced, bending moment can be produced, and the beam by each and every section of the body, force components and other can be produced. Now that is statically determined structure. In the moon equation, if a chain matto or beam and another determined can be produced, or truss or frame or another other forces can be produced. Now that is statically indeterminate structures. Okay. Now that is statically determined structures. Okay. Now that is statically indeterminate structures. Okay. Ipo, what are all the statically determined structures? A cantilever is a statically determined structure. It's a statically determined structure. Then a simply supported beam is a statically determined structure. And a overhanging beam is a statically determined structures. That is, now what? In the moon, the moon, the what the all type of beams per se? Yeah, based on support condition, there are six types of beams. One is cantilever beam, simply supported beam. And the third one is overhanging beam, fourth one fixed beam, continuous beam, propped cantilever. This is the moon equation. Sigma v is equal to zero, sigma h is equal to zero, sigma m is equal to zero. 
இந்த மூணு ஈக்குவேஷனை வச்சு இந்த த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் பின்ஸ் நம்ம கால்குலேட் பண்ணிடலாம் அப்ப அது என்ன ஆகும் தீஸ் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் ஸ்டாட்டிகலி டிட்டர்மினேட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஸ்டாட்டிகலி டிட்டர்மினேட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் டிட்டர்மினேட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் டிட்டர்மினேட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் ஆர் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆர் பீன்ஸ் So So these three are called statically determined. In the mood the mood mood the 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 mood 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 equation, equation 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 indeterminate structures are indeterminate beats okay indeterminate okay this are up to this i want to close now well, just wait. question number 56 question number 56 this is the first tnps question i am taking the question is which of the following is statically determinate beam question number 56 um um 56 
Here sigma h will not apply for us because it's a beam. Sigma h is the truss. So here we will use sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0. So using that sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0, the two equilibrium equations, we have to calculate the support reactions first. That, that is calculation of reactions. First reaction calculation. What are all the force? We have 3 downward force. 10 kN force, 5 kN force and 8 kN force, 3 downward force. What are the total load? 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 8, totally 23 kN loads. The 20 kN load downward load are there. The beam equilibrium condition is going to In the RA reaction A is clear. Reaction A and the reaction B, RB must be equal to 23. So, if the rendo and the 23 sharp and the two sigma and the, up, and the downward force is equal to upward force in the beam and the equilibrium condition. So, first we will use sigma m is equal to 0. Sigma m is equal to 0 the equilibrium equation condition is used. We will calculate the moments. First, you take moments about the, what are all the forces here? We have five forces. One is reaction A, second is 10 kN, third load is 5 kN, fourth load is 8 kN, and the fifth load is reaction B. These are the three loads. If R is the moment, the end unknown, the unknown of first What do you mean by moment? Moment of force. Moment of force is nothing but force into distance. We all know. So if you take moments about, take moments about A, take moments about A. But the A group will be the reaction moment at the end of the A group will be the other distance. That is R A group force and the reaction here is the real. But under the pulley, the other distance is zero. So R A group, the moment R A group is zero. Then in the force, R A group is the class of the day. In the class of the day, in the anti class of the day. But the RB but no, sorry, is the clack vessel suit to the easy clack vessel suit to the easy clack vessel suit to the but is the but anti clack vessel to the so the the clack vessel moment direction so upward downward side conversion is a much so that the upper only is a purio so if I end up clear for the way go R A into zero because under the under distance zero so at the end of the day plus clack vessel of Nala 10 into 2 plus 5 into 4. 5 into distance 4 plus in other clock is 8 to 8 kilo newton 8 into distance 7 meters but last force reaction is there anti clock is there the mood in the direction is there the opposite direction is there minus rb what the distance is there 8 meters now we are going to say Sigma m is equal to 0. That is algebraic sum of all moments must be equal to 0. So, if I 0, we equate 1. 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 Minus Rb into 8 must be equal to 0. If the minus under the point of plus side, yeah, 20 plus 20, 40. Okay. Then that is 40 plus 56, 96. Minus under the point of plus side, 8 RB. Therefore, RB is equal to 96 divided by 8. That is equal to. 12 kilo newton. That is 12 kilo newton. RB is equal to 12 kilo newton. Now if I give the kind of which tone. RB 12 kilo newton. If I worry the action kind of which charge you. Using the equilibrium equation. A static equilibrium equation. Sigma M is equal to 0. Next I from getting the new total I have a force. 10 plus 15 plus 8. Total force from getting the new. That is 10 plus. 5 plus 8 that is totally 23 if I the downward force 23 kilo newton and the number end reaction where the character puts out of the beam equilibrium condition that is 
using sigma v is equal to zero. In the first condition, use for now sigma m is equal to zero. Let us sigma v is equal to zero. Condition they use for them now. Total twenty three to twenty three kilonewton must be equal to R A plus R B. So in the R B A R B U, main of the upward force, the downward force, keep it under that B B equilibrium condition. Let us go. Therefore, R A, we know that R B twelve must be equal to twenty three. Therefore, R A is equal to twenty three minus twelve, that is equal to eleven. If R A is equal to the reaction, eleven kilo newton. So if I am going to make a conversion, R B is equal to reaction, that is twelve kilo newton. Then R A is equal to the reaction, that is eleven kilo newtons. So if I am going to make a conversion, first we have calculated the reaction using sigma M is equal to zero and sigma V is equal to zero. This is first one point. One of the problems that the detail learned that I am going to make a matter of just a solution for that. So reactions can be done. So first one, we have calculated the reactions. Ah, please come on. We have calculated the reactions. That is R A is equal to 11 kilonewton and R B is equal to 12 kilonewton. 11 plus 12, 23. Total of downward force is 23. So if the total upward force is 23, sigma V is equal to zero. 23 plus 23 minus. So the well, now the B B C B equilibrium condition. Next, number of analysis is going to be done. First reaction going to be done. Then the shear force going to be done. Shear force diagram will be done. Third, the bending point going to be done. Bending point diagram will be done. Next, the shear force. Shear force calculation and the shear force diagram. So in the shear force, first reaction going to be done. Second, second point is shear force calculation. अरे ये पहले मैं तुम्हें एग्जाम पढ़ा पोरिंगे रेंडर दिन सीएल फोर्स पोर्ट दिन आलू टी सोना वो सुडू के लायर मेरी ना सोली था ना नहीं के सीएल फोर्स अलग गैल पर पहले रोम्बा टाइम आये रहो इधर नहीं के इधर इधर क्लास सपोर्ट भी नहीं है इसे आप पढ़ना है पढ़ा सोली था तो नाला गाउन्स कोंगा � ये वंदे 11 किलोन्यूटन अपवर्ड फोर्स आ वंदे ची, सो नम्बर 11 किलोन्यूटन मेल पॉइंट मो, अपने इंगे बी प्ले दाल वेरिएशन्स इनका उन्नी में नहीं आया, अंदर 11 किलोन्यूटन आप ये इंगे वरों, यूर पुल दोनों वाले किंगे उन्हें नो चेंजेस, इंगे वंदे अवलो वंदे 10 किलोन्यूटन्स डाउनवर्ड so in the pulley के बंदे तो बरगी इंगे ने रखे और five kilonewtons की लगा दे so इंगे और plus और लेते हैं कि और minus और five वाले के मारो so इंगे इंदर इंदर beam लेना आते और five kilonewtons downward वाले दे इंगे वंदु और five kilonewtons वाले दे so ये प्रिय five kilonewtons इंदर पता beam लगा चाहिए जैसे कहा यूडीएल इंदर load कर जाए आधी कपल इंगे ने आए दे the five कपल की लेनो ये तो वाले � the eight la, in the one kilometer mail of plus up point che. So, key la varandhu four kilometers na varandhu. In the total la five down all day. Yer kuna inge one kilometer and this a balance four kilometers in the eight la varandhu. Apra hoa, inge eight la varandhu enna yadho, eight kilometers down la varandhu. So, inge eight la varandhu bodhi inge eight in or eight kilometers. Ipo, in the beam up point, inge inge avala pound varandhu ya, twelve. So, inge enna yadho, inge eight mail la varandhu zero pundhu che. So, this is your, 12 kilonewton. So, निके shear force calculation ये इन्ने type of ये अपुलो complicated varying load है, uniformly distributed load ये लल्ला निके इन्ने very important ला। इन्ने पर हम बोल दे exam ला पॉम बोल दे इधर कला में हम तो pass आप पढ़ा पड़िया दे। So ये पे अन्ना दैट प्लस shear force ऐड तेली दिपेर बनी ला। इन्ना कौन रहा? इन्के इन्ना now this is our base line. Say this is our zero line. इन्ने दैट प्लस shear force बंदे zero आर किधे। So इधर this is the base line लेन्दे। वो ले reaction ला, वो support ला रहे मिया। लेवल किलोमीटर स्मैल आप बोल दे, बी में इंद्र चेंजेस चल रहा है अभी इंगे बंदे टेन किलोमीटर की ले आएंगे दे, सो ओर किलोमीटर तक बैलेंस चल दे, सो इंगे बी में इंद्र चेंजेस चल इंगे बंदे फाइव किलोमीटर मेल आप बोलने पहुंच ना माइनस लाना लोग दरों, सो आपने इंगे की लगा दे, बंदे बरेगे � so, in the end, the final is upward force side, 12 to 0 baseline is going to be done. This is our positive side, positive shear force, and this is our negative shear force. The algebraic sum of practical forces must be equal to 0. The first thing is 0. Over a pile, 
ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಜೀರೋ ಬಂದ್ರು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಶಿಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಪ್ಡಿ ನಾವು ಶಿಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡುಪಿಡಿಕರು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಶಿಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಹೇವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಪಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ ಎಟ್ಲ ಅಂದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಪಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೀಮ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಸಿಂಪಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೋ ಇಂದ ಎಟ್ಲ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗಿರಕ ಮುಡಿಯ ಅಂದ ಎಟ್ಲ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗಿರಕ ಮುಡಿಯ ಸೋ ಇಂದ ಮೂರು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲ ಬಟ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀರೋ ಎಡ್ಕೋನ ಅಪ್ಪ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಡ್ಕೋನ ಸೋ ಇಫ್ ನಾವು ಎಡ್ತಿಕ್ಕ ಹೋದಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಲೇ ಎಡ್ತಮ್ನ ಅಪ್ಪ ಎ ಲೇ ಒಂದು ಜೀರೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಟೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಸಿ ಎಡ್ಕೋ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಸಿ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಸಿ ಎಡ್ತಿಂಗನಾ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪುಲ್ ಎಡ್ತಿಟೋಮ್ನ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಏದರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೆ ಇನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಗೆ ಅಪ್ರೋ ಬೈತಿನ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಪೋಟಿಲ್ಲ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಅದೇ ಇದೆ ಇಂದ ಪಕ್ಕ ಎಂತ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇರಕ 1 2 3 ಇಂದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಡ್ತಿ ನೀವು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪೋಟಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗೋ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಿಕ್ ಸಮ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು 0 ನಾ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಫ್ರೀ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕಾಕ್ರ ನೌ ಇಫ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಐ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ 2 ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ 11 ಇಂಟು 2 ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ 22 ಕಿಲೋ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ 11 ಇಸ್ ಕಿಲೋ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಟು ಸೋ ಕಿಲೋ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ 22 ಕಿಲೋ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಕಿಲೋ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಡ್ತಾಳೋ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಡ್ತಾಳೋ ಸಮಮ ಇರಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಿಕ್ ಸಮ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಜೀರೋ ಇಪ್ಪ ನಾವು ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಡ್ತ ಕಾಟ ಬಾರಂಗ ಇದು ಎತ್ತನ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರಕದೆ ಒಂದಾ ಒಂದು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇರಕದೆ ಮತ್ತ ರೆಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇರಕದೆ ಸೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಪೋಟ್ ಕಾಟ this force that is 12 into in the distance evlo motta 8 meters 8 la 2 pochina 6 12 into 6 this is in one direction la varudhu matta moonu another direction la varudhu minus 8 into what is the difference on this distance in the force into distance 3 plus 2 5 8 into 5 again this is opposite direction la varudhu minus 5 5-2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 
so simple a one note la irukudha adha eduth namma la podalam so bending moment at the the force at point c is equal to 22 so each and every force namma apdi kandupidikala but namma simple a kandupidichalam next one is bending moment at the d next ha huh? bending moment at the d the one force matra na eduthuva you consider this one clockwise this reaction the left hand side kandupidichina in the bagam or reaction with 11 kN at a distance of 4 meter then anti clockwise la sutta kudiyade or 10 kN at a distance of 2 meters in the point la idude distance zero aayidu so and the moment cipher aayidu so 11 into 4 minus 10 into 2 that is the moment at that point 44 minus 20 That is equal to 24 kilonewton meter. That is at the point D. Then at the point E, bending moment at D E at point E. Now we can consider that this only one one force. In the bag, it is the mode of one force minus this one minus this one. What is it? Or it is this force into the distance. That is 12 into 1. R E Considering right of section, right side level of whatever force are there into one, that is twelve into one, that is equal to twelve kilonewton meter. So if we are moving in the other bending, other bending mode, other kind of force, so in the bending mode, kind of force, so and in the other bending mode, kind of force, so. So now we can tell, we can draw the bending moment diagram. So bending moment at the this one is twenty two, then this is twenty four, and this one twelve. Our answer is correct. Already I have worked out the distance one. That is twenty two kilometer. Now we have calculated bending moment under the point C is twenty two kilometer, and under the point D is twenty four kilometer, and under the point E is twelve kilometer. Now you draw your baseline. Bending moment at both the ends are zero. Simply support the work. Because here now at the moment the other distance zero. So both the ends are zero. I know. Next is under the point C. This is 22 kilonewton. This is 22 kilonewton meter. Then under D is 24 kilonewton. So you have to find your place. This is 24 kilonewton meter. Then and the last one is 12 kilonewton meter. 12 kilonewton meter. Now we join all the three points. Sir. 22 zero लेंथ 22 जाइन बनेगा, 22 लेंथ 24 जाइन बनेगा, 24 लेंथ 12 जाइन बनेगा, 12 लेंथ zero जाइन बनेगा। Now this is the this is the bending moment diagram, bending moment diagram for this beam. For a simply supported beam, the bending moment diagram is always positive because both the ends la bending moment zero aichu so the base mela mattum da irukudhu so simply supported beam la bending moment diagram bending moment is always positive but shear force varunga we love positive shear force and negative shear force then one more significance the bending moment will be maximum where the shear force is zero ethana beam eduthu nama calculate pannalo idella one word question la easy a kepaanga simply supported beam la where the bending moment will be maximum The bending moment will be maximum where the shear force is zero, or where the shear force changes its sign. Plus the length minus length minus length plus the length in the point. So shear force is our value cipher is the length plus bending moment maximum are come. Shear force order diagram order uh, simply support the shear force diagram positive negative end may same will come. And a bending moment diagram upper may positive are are come. Now we have taken a simply supported beam of span 8 meter with the three point loads 10 kN, 5 kN, 8 kN at the distance of 2 meters, 4 meters, and 7 meters from the left hand side. Firstly, we have calculated the reaction R A and R B using sigma A is equal to zero, sigma B is equal to zero. So this is 11 kN reaction. This is 12 kN. Total load is twenty three. So downward load twenty three. Are there? So upward twenty three. Is there? Right? The beam under the equilibrium condition. Because first reaction over. Second shear force. 
shear force diagram varanjidu eppadi varanjom or base line varanjidu over point ni just nam or game la irukra mari porom support reaction mele vandu 11 kN irukudhu so 11 kN mele porom inga beam la onnume changes la adhe level la continue aachu in the distance 11 kN so in the 11 kN force edhu varaikku varudhu at the distance 10 kN keela varra varaikku so 11 la 10 pochuna over kN adhe one la maintain aagudhu inga varumbodhu 5 keela varugudhu so one podra inga keela naal vandrum then abhi beam la one changes illa load illa adhu abhi and load continue aagudhu inge vandu or 8 kN keela varudhu 4 liter plus 8 12 inge varumbodhu 12 kN upward reactions so automatically zero vandu that is our shear force diagram over it has both positive and negative shear force diagram over third one is bending momentum so our b board analysis nu sonnale first reaction calculation shear force calculation shear force diagram bending moment calculation bending moment diagram that is bending moment over point liyo at both the ends simply supported people both the ends la moment will be zero we know it then over point line nam moment eduthom na ungal eduthu kaadiyaachu so first r ya kandupidichom r b r r c r r d r d r e so and the bending moment eduthu diagram potu this is our bending moment diagram bending moment diagram is always positive but shear force diagram will have positive and negative portions then the bending moment will be maximum where the shear force is zero is in the points munichi next i want to teach you some uh, the next is shear force what is shear force ipo neenga solunga namma idu potta illaya over at enna shear force nu solrom shear force is defined as shear force at any section of a beam is the algebraic sum of vertical forces so in the pulley la eduthukittinga inge enna varudhu upward force 11 so inga edathu 11 da varanum ana inge algebraic sum of vertical forces considering either left of section or right of section so inda edathula paarenga inda edathu left la inga edathula force irukku paarenga upward 12 varudhu 12 la 8 poiyidhu so 12 la 8 pocha 4 adukapra 4 la innoru 5 pogudhu so 1 1 plus 10 11 so inda pakkam vandinga 4 11 varudhu andha pakkam vandinga 4 11 varudhu so over pulley liyo adha nam enna solrana shear force at any section of a beam is uh, the algebraic sum of vertical forces acting at that point either considering left of section or right of the section of the beam then shear force is represented by the letter v nam inga adha pathi romba pesaradilla ishwara says shear force da v la da denote panuvanga okay next is sign convention that is very very important now sign convention for a uh, shear force now it is very important is you, you must be you must know it very clearly now we will take uh, two section say this is left hand side this is right hand side so ipo nam enna padrom left hand side la or section ku paathna upward positive nu ochu nichukonga left hand side la upward force positive net thumna downward force enna varum automatically negative ah irukum namma apdi paakalam then ipa right hand side ku just opposite poninga na upward negative ah eduthukuvom then downward force positive net thumbom so ipa indiya paapom indha varu indha section la edukom indha section la paatha just this is the 1 kN ipa parunga idhu left hand side la upward positive so ipo nam enna panna upward positive 11 downward negative minus 10 that is equal to 1 that is nam eduthukira sign convention left hand side ku upward positive downward negative ipo right hand side la endu varuvom right hand side la vandumna upward enna podra negative so minus 12 this is upward 12 vandha na mele eduthukom upward negative minus 12 downward enna eduthukom idu vandu indha section ku idu left of section idu right of section nam eduthukondu indha section la eduthukrom so ipo vandu right of section la upward negative minus 12 apra 8 idu vandu plus 8 then plus 5 so 8 plus 5 13 minus 1 12 pochina plus 1 so that is the sign convention idu da sonna shear force at any section is the algebraic sum of vertical forces considering either left of section or right of section end section eduthalo ipdi vandinga na plus 1 da varum ipdi vandinga na plus 1 da varum that is the shear force over next one is what is bending moment again bending moment at any section of a beam is the algebraic sum of moment of forces 
considering either left of section or right of section of the beam. So next is bending moment. So in the left to go on. Now first we have taken for this is for shear force. This is for shear force. Then for bending moment. Bending moment. Now moment I know it will be clockwise or anti-clockwise. For left of section again, clockwise positive. Anti-clockwise negative. So automatic right of section or mode clockwise negative. If we can solve it, then anti-clockwise negative. Sorry, clockwise negative. Anti-clockwise positive. This is the mark of the sign convention. And then you are suppose sign convention number two is suppose you do the left of positive to achieve it. उसे Suppose if you take the point D, D point at the end, you know, forces are there. One is reaction A, another one is point C. So, if the clockwise is now, no? left hand side, clockwise positive, and the clockwise negative. So, in the distance length, you get the path, you know, you know, this is this is reaction 11, 11 into this distance 4, D point length, and I will go for 11 into 4, this is clockwise positive. इन और फोर्स इधर किधर है ना भाई इधर पाइंट अप करते हो लेकिन इधर बगैर रेंटल और फोर्स ना आएगा तो वन इस रिएक्शन आता है तो वन इस दिस लोड टेन किलोमीटर टाइम सो माइनस दिस इस हैंडी क्लाइवेस माइनस टेन इनटू टू सो ये पहला आंसर होने चाहिए नाल को रोने नाम पे दिना ले माइनस ये रेंट it should it must it must satisfy this right hand side also. Upon the sign conversion of Earth, you know, if I in the bag, right hand side, 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 anti clockwise. Up anti clockwise or both positive, right hand side, right hand side, right hand side, clockwise direction, right hand side, negative, right hand side. So, if I want to consider in left of section, I'm a put a left hand side, right hand side, at point D, right hand side. So if you consider the right hand side, right hand side is equal to the first reaction RB. This is right of section. So right of section is like anti-clockwise is positive. So anti-clockwise is positive. 12 RB into 12 distance. This is 3 plus 1, 4 meters. Then this clockwise negative. 8 into 3. That is equal to R B R B load on the twelve. Now the button is now put it minus two button. That is plus twenty-four kilonewton meter. In the end of the every part in all at the point left of section at the right of section at the equal of the one way that is the sign convention use for draw. So if a sign convention shear force support the way come on, left hand side upward positive, not down or negative, that's what you know. If you want to put it down, you can't go down. So left up to positive, not right level, but up to negative, but up to automatic down positive, you know, go over. Upper bending moment again, clockwise direction, so this is positive, not anti-clockwise or negative. If you want to put it down, you can't go over, clockwise positive, left to clockwise positive, but anti-clockwise or automatic negative. If you want to put it down, left to clockwise positive, not automatic or right level, Clockwise negative are going to know, and the clockwise is positive are going to know. So, our full problem is right there. You have to do the reaction kind of thing. So, you can do the shear force calculation just to do the shear force calculation. You can do the shear force calculation. You can do the shear force calculation. You can do the shear force calculation. Then, the shear force calculation is the shear force diagram. You can do the bending mode calculation. The bending mode diagram is the bending mode diagram. Then, the shear force is the end. Now, you can do the algebraic sum of vertical forces acting. Either left of section, right of section, end the point that thing is the same. Then, moment, what is bending moment? Algebraic sum of all the moments, 
moments of the all the forces acting at this section either considering left up section right up section ipo nam idu edla potu paathom so ipo rx la d ingra file la left hand side vachi potom right hand side vachi potom eppadi potom and edla and point equal avaru so shear force bending moment then uh, diagram ella mudichaachi okay next sense standard cases ena avan kepa udl center la vandha enna varum adha one mark question la nam kekalam andha mari sir standard cases mudichi simply support mudichiruvom அதுக்கப்புறம் கேட்டி லிவர் ஓவர் ஹேங்கில் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் கான்ட்ராக்ஷன் முடிச்சா புரிய மேலே முடிச்சாங்க ஜஸ்ட் இன்னொரு ஹாஃப் அன் அவரில் முடிச்சலாம் ஓகே ஓகேப்பா இப்போ நான் வந்து உங்களுக்கு சில பாயிண்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் சொல்லிட்டு வரேன் பார்த்தீங்களா ஏன்னா நான் வந்து ஒரு நம்மளோட சிலபஸ்க்கு மட்டும் தனியாக நோட்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணிட்டேன் ஒவ்வொரு டாபிக்கும் நான் வந்து இப்போ இந்த 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 பீப்புக்குள்ளே எல்லாத்துக்கும் ஜஸ்ட் அந்த பாயிண்ட் டாபிக்கை கவர் பண்ணி அந்த எக்ஸாம் கொஸ்டின் உங்கள் டிஎன்பிசி கொஸ்டாக ரிலவெண்ட்டாக போட்டுட்டு வரேன் இப்போ இந்த நோட்ஸை நான் உங்களுக்கு அப்படியே கொடுக்க முடியாது ஏன்னா நம்ம ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் எடுக்கிறேன் இதில் நிறைய ஃபைன் டூன் பண்ண வேண்டியது இருக்குது ரொம்ப அப்படியே ஜஸ்ட் கன்சைஸாக கொடுக்கறதுக்கு சப்போஸ் உங்களுக்கு இது நான் சொல்கிறது தேவைப்பட்டா நீங்கள் யூடியூப்பை ரீமெண்ட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க பேக்கில் போயிட்டு நான் சொல்கிற பாயிண்ட்டு நீங்கள் திருப்பி பாருங்க அப்போ நீங்கள் நோட்ஸ் எடுத்துக்கலாம் இன்னொரு ஒரு கொஞ்சம் ஒரு த்ரீ மந்த்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ் கழிச்சுட்டு நான் அந்த ரொம்ப கன்சைஸாக நோட்டு போட்ட பிறகு யாராவது இண்டிவிஜுவலாக கேட்டிங்கன்னா அவங்களுக்கு நம்ம அப்போ சப்ளை பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஓக